Hi, welcome back. My name is Ashish. This is Azure Infrastructure as a Services, Microsoft Exam 70 533. This is the video 6. In this video for the Azure Web App, we want to check out the deployment credentials options. See, uh, what happens is local data FTP can't authenticate using the credential used for the portal. So, whatever the username you have created in Azure MP3 or the username with which you have signed up on the portal, it cannot authenticate, you cannot deploy these tools for the FTP deployment. You have to create the FTP deployment username and password to deploy it using FTP onto your web app. Let's say you create an account here. See, I told you, the name should be globally unique. It is not found to your subscription, it should be globally unique. So now my FTP credentials have been set up. Now if you see the overview section of your... It was blank before you created the FTP section, it was blank. Now we have the test tester, my FTP host name, FTPS host name. And if you want to see, you can also see that in the properties section. You'll see these options in which I have created the FTP deployment user. See, the test tester. It was blank and you did not create it. So let's say you want to reset, like I have reset the deployment FTP credentials. You want to reset you can also get this published profile your developer may ask you for the publishing profile file so can open it it will be an xml file i'll get back to this if you want to reset it so the, the option that i have created it was the user specific FTP credential Let's say you want to check the app service plan, the web app specific FTP credential. Then you will be able to open this published profile in the Visual Studio. I do not have the Visual Studio. Maybe I will download the file version so that I can share that with you. I can show you how you can check the published profile username and password. You can host me in URL. So when you open this file in the Visual Studio, you can get the app specific FTP credentials that we have just reset. If you want to reset the public profile, you can do it. Just click on it. Are you sure you want to reset your public profile? Profiles download previously will become invalid. So if everything would be reset regarding the public profile, you click on yes, it'll reset the public profile. So you might have to do this again, download the public profile again, and send that back to your developer. So that you can make the changes at the back end that you configure in the visual studio. So this is the deployment credential section we just covered. I'll see you in the next two video where we'll discover more about Azure Web Apps. Please feel free to mention your questions in the comment section. As promised, I will do, I will try to answer all of them as soon as possible. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.